dear students how are you i hope you all are safe and healthy and i welcome you all to today's session today we are going to take up a first chapter of mathematics taken from your book math magic and the name of the chapter is building with bricks yes what's the name building with bricks in today's session we will discuss about different brick patterns in geography school how to draw a brick different patterns on the walls and shapes of brick bricks and bricks hot and fresh mental maths bhajan buys bricks we have seen several buildings made up of bricks around us sometimes when we go for sightseeing we see the old buildings have different patterns and designs of bricks and even they can can be made in the present time as well so in order to begin with the chapter let's read and let's read about these different patterns brick patterns for jagruti school this is the true story of jagruti school in murshidabad west bengal when its building was being made there was a plan to make brick patterns on the floor and walls jamal kalu and pia were the masons for the brick work they wanted to get new ideas for the school building so they took their other friends to see the old tomb of murshid kuli khan this building has a big floor with about 2000 beautiful brick patterns these were made by masons long back about 300 years ago yes about 300 years ago let's move ahead now tell me how to draw a brick let's see these are two photos of the same brick in one photo we can see only one face of the brick in the other we can see three faces circle the photo showing three faces yes look at the picture and let's try to answer these questions let's start how many faces in all does a brick have yes check out find out yes it's six very good next is any face a square find out tell me yes or no it's yes next draw the smallest face of the brick yes draw very good try take your rough notebooks try with me try to draw i hope you all are making it side by side okay let's move ahead among the pictures given below which of these are the faces of a brick mark a tick or a correct sign carefully look at these picture is it first second third fourth or sixth find out which image is near to the face of a brick yes very good put the correct sign in front of the correct image so we can see that out of given six images three images represent the faces of a brick now let's move ahead find out which of these is a drawing of a brick 
you can see various images mark a correct sign in front of the correct drawing or image yes find out we have to find out and select the best drawing very good that resembles a brick i hope you all have marked it i know we all have found the correct image very good okay i hope it's an interesting activity now let's try another activity make a drawing of this image to show three of its faces yes you have to make a drawing of this box that is being shown of this image to show three of its faces yes tell me can you draw it yes try very good try and try to show all three faces okay students can you make a drawing of a brick which has four faces to show can we make that yes tell me is it possible to show all the four faces no it is not possible we can only draw three faces of a brick dear students let's try to find out some more answers my first question is which school in murshidabad that is in west bengal has beautiful brick pattern on the walls and on the floors yes tell me very good we have just read it right now what is the answer the answer is jagruti school very good next name the masons who have made beautiful brick patterns on the school walls and floors yes try to recall the story we have read it yes the three masons were Jamal, Kalu, and P R. So these were the three masons who created beautiful brick pattern on the walls and on the floors of the Jagriti School. Let's answer the third one. Where did these masons visit before making the brick pattern on the floor and the walls? Yes. Where did they go? Tell me. Try. Very good. Yes, they went to see the old tomb of Murshid Kuli Khan. I hope you have read it with me in the chapter. Next, how many years ago were the brick patterns created on the tomb of Murshid Ali Khan? recall and tell yes how many years ago it's about 300 years ago yes those patterns were created about 300 years ago next what did these masons say when they returned from the tomb yes what did they say Yes, we have read it. They said that in olden days, beautiful patterns of bricks were made. They all were very happy to see those patterns. Next, have you ever seen any such pattern of bricks? Come on, think about it and tell. Recall, have you ever seen? Yes. Yes, we can say. we have seen such patterns on the walls of the temples and even in government buildings next how many brick patterns are there on the floor of the old building we have read it in the chapter yes try and answer okay let me help you out The building has a big floor with about two thousand beautiful brick patterns. 
Isn't it amazing? Now it's time to move ahead and to know about a wall that will not fall. Yes, one day Munia and Zanip were playing with bricks and making their walls. Each makes a different wall. You can also see in the picture. Zanip says her wall will not fall easily. Masons too do not put bricks one on top of the other as Munia has done. What do you think? Which wall will be stronger? Yes, try and tell. Yes, it will be that of Zeneb's. Okay. Now, let's move ahead. Jamal and Kalu, the masons of Jagrati school, said that their grandfather used many different kinds of bricks. Okay, tell me, is there any brick that has more than six faces? Or have you ever seen such a brick? Tell me, a brick with six faces? Tell me yes or no? Yes, more than six faces. Have you ever seen any such brick? Yes or no? No, not at all. Because a brick has only six faces. Now, find the shape of the brick. Have you seen bricks of different sizes? Let's try and do this activity. Okay, let's try. Take one brick and measure it. First, find out its length. Measure and tell. Let's suppose its length is 20 centimeters. Now, measure its width. It will be nearly about 10 centimeters. Measure its height. It will be also around 10 centimeters. Next, Munia wants to make a wall one meter long. How many bricks will she need to put in a line? Yes, try and solve it. Munia wants to make a wall of one meter long. How many bricks will she need to put in a line? Try. Very good. She will require five bricks. Very good. Now, let's read further. Bricks and bricks, hot and fresh. Ganesh and Sahiba live near a kin where bricks are made. Can you guess how high is the chimney here? Is it about 5 meters, about 15 meters or about 50 meters? Yes, tell me. It will be around 50 meters. Have you ever seen a brick lane? Did you try to guess the number of bricks kept there? Have you ever seen a clan near your house or anywhere? There are many, many brick clans in India. Thousands of them. More than 100 thousands. Can you imagine how big is this number? This number is also called 1 lakh. What a big number, isn't it? Now, it's time to do some mental maths. Bhajan buys bricks. Bhajan went to buy bricks. The price was given for 1000 bricks. The prices were also different for different types of bricks. 
old bricks rupees 1200 for 1000 bricks new bricks from intapur rupees 1800 for 1000 bricks new bricks from brikabad rupees 2000 for 1000 bricks bhajan decided to buy the new bricks from brikabad he bought 3000 bricks how much did he pay yes try and find out guess yes try to solve it out what he will pay for 300 bricks how much he would pay 6000 how because he needs to get 3000 bricks so 2000 into 3 is equals to 6000 rupees guess what he will pay if he buys 500 old bricks try to solve it yes tell me how much he will have to pay 600 it means 1200 multiplied by 500 then the answer will be divided by 2 it comes out to be 600 dear students till now we have learned many things about bricks let's know more about the terms and the concepts related to bricks what is an arc or a mihrab as called in hindi it's a semi circular part made above the door yes an arc is a semi circular part made above the door in order to give beautiful shapes and designs to the door we use an arc apart from the doors we can see arcs at various other places like in old buildings it's time to answer few questions now have you seen arcs in a bridge tell me try try to recall from your memory have you ever seen arcs in a bridge yes yes we have seen arcs even on the railway bridges where else have you seen an arc try to answer apart from the bridges where else we can say that we have seen them in the temples in mosques in hotel buildings and in historical monuments as well dear students we have read about arcs and on that basis we can also attempt few questions now let's move further to know more about bricks ganesh and sahiba love to look at the pattern of bricks in the long long lines kept out to dry they also watch how bricks are made let's find out how bricks are made in order to make bricks firstly the mud is dug out of the earth then it is cleaned and it is mixed with water to make a dough making a dough in the same manner as we need the floor at home when we make chapatis then we need the floor and make a dough similarly the mud is mixed with water to make a dough after the perfect dough is made then the place where the bricks are to be made is cleaned up 
and a thin layer of sand is poured at that place. Then, the mud dough is divided into big round balls and are placed at a distance. Then this dough is put into the box of the shape of a brick and is dried. Then these dried bricks are put into the clin where it is baked and fully dried. This is the whole process of brick making. Isn't it interesting? Now, based on our understanding, let's try to answer a few questions. Okay, the first is, what is the first step of brick making? Yes, try to answer. What is the first step? Yes, in order to make bricks, the first step is digging out the mud from the earth. Next, how do we add water to the mud? Yes, tell, try and answer. Yes, we add water to the mud or the soil as per the requirement as we need to make a dough. Next, in order to make bricks, which layer is poured on the surface where bricks are to be laid? Yes, try and answer. We put a layer of sand on the clean surface on which bricks are to be laid or made. Now, with the help of this activity, let's try to know more about bricks. Try to find out a building or a monument made of bricks around your house or in your locality. Yes, tell me. I remember that Rahul once in class told that there is an old building in Rahul's village. We can see that building in the visual. Can you see this? We all can see that there are beautiful designs of bricks and all the children are very excited to see these wonderful designs. We can also see different shapes of arcs as well. As we all have read about arcs and we all can see them in the visuals now. Even the kids can see through the beautiful jollies as well. And see the wonderful patterns of jollies. How amazing these designs are. Dear children, I know you all are enjoying these visuals. And by now, you all might have understood about bricks and their importance. So, today in this video, we learned about different patterns of bricks, their faces, their shapes, and also now we can easily identify their patterns in the buildings around us. I hope you all have enjoyed today's session. So till we meet next, stay healthy, stay happy and enjoy reading.